Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, minimum score of a path between two cities. So the problem is uh, a little bit easier. Like you can see there are a lot of submissions in the problem of the problem during the live contest itself, right? So the problem is easier, but in this video, we would uh, try to look a harder version of the same problem. There is a constraint in the problem which make it easier. We will look at it, but there is a constraint in the problem which make it easier. We, what we will be looking at is uh, how to solve, or at least I will give you an intuition of how to solve the problem if that constraint itself is not there. Okay, so stay tuned to the till the very end, and I'm very sure you will learn something new. Okay, so let's start. The problem states that you are given a positive integer n representing n cities from one to n and you are given some roads between the cities. So road, uh, each road connects two cities A and B I. The road is bidirectional and the distance of the road is also given to us. Okay. So in essence, we are given a graph having n nodes. The graph may not be connected. Okay. And we are also given that uh, uh, the edges between these graph are weighted. Like there is a there is a weight of each of these edges. Okay, now you need to find out the score of a path between two cities, uh, which is minimum. So, in in particular, you are looking at the score of a path from one to n. So, what is the score? Score is the minimum edge or the minimum distance road that you have to travel while you are traveling from source to destination. For example, let's say this is the configuration. And we have to traverse from one to four. Now there are various possible ways to traverse from one to four. You can go directly from one to four. You can go via two. You can uh, you can go to three and then come back to two and then go to four. Right? This is also valid. Like you can go to three because uh, it is given that uh, you can visit one path multiple times. And this is the constraint I was talking about uh, earlier in the video that this constraint makes the problem lot, lot, lot more easier than it would have been. So uh, stay tuned, we will look at it. So for now, you can do that. So in total, like let's say you choose path one to four, you go, you, are, you want to go from one to four and you choose the path from, you will first go to two and then go to four. So in this path, what is the score? Score is the minimum value of the distance. So here the distance is nine, here the distance is five. So you will just take minimum of nine and five, which is five and five is your answer. A five is the score of the path one to two and then two to four, right? So similarly, you have to calculate the minimum possible score for all the paths, which starts from one and ends at n. In this case, n is 4. Okay, so that's the problem. Uh, now, how to solve this? So again, remember this constraint that you it is allowed to uh, visit same road multiple times, right? So let's see. Now, uh, this uh, first of all, uh, we are given graphs, right? So we are given a graph, and we it is also said that the graph is not necessarily connected, right? So let's just simplify the problem. Let's say we are given a tree. There is no graph. There is no cycles and all, and the tree is connected. So we are removing both the constraints. So this this is the exact same approach that we are taking while, like this is the exact same approach in which how I solved the last problem, the hard the last problem of today's weekly contest, which was uh, relatively very very hard from this uh, problem. So same approach we are removing the constraint that we are solving the question for a tree and the all the nodes in the tree are connected okay now how will you solve this so let's say you have to uh, start uh, from one and go all the way up to 10 right so this is the uh, sorry go all the way up to 11 11 is n right now in tree you can and it is also given that one no one edge can be visited multiple times, right? So what you can always, let's say this is the minimum value edge, right? This is, let's say minimum value edge uh, uh, among all these edges, right? So what you can always do is 
you can traverse to four and then to seven and then traverse back to one and then from one you can traverse to eleven right so basically because our tree is connected completely connected we know that there exists a path from one to eleven always because we have uh, like we have removed the constraint that the graph is not connected so because graph is connected and the graph is a tree so we always know that there is a path from 1 to 11 always right now if there is a path from 1 to 11 always what we just need to do we just need to find out what is the minimum edge in this tree and with let's say this is the minimum edge what we can do we can visit that uh, edge first traverse back to 1 and then from 1 we can traverse to 11 by any path we want right basically we are making like we are making sure that we visit the smallest edge so that our answer our result is smallest that's the thing we are doing so solution is, solution is simple just visit the tree entire tree find the minimum minimum edge and that is your answer right but now let's see uh, how things change when it is a graph like the given structure is not a tree it is a graph so if it is a graph there can be edges like this right uh, it can be connected right there are there can be multiple such edges which can be connected so in graph as well and cu and currently also this entire thing is connected we are still not considering that considering the case where the graph is not connected so if entire thing is connected then also we can do the same just visit the entire thing find the minimum edge and that is your answer because everything is connected you are sure that you from one you can visit 11 right and because you are sure about this you can just return the minimum edge as your answer okay now let's talk about the case where the graph is not connected okay so for example let's say uh, this edge is not there and similarly uh, you can't reach 7 as well okay so this is your graph now in this case you can't apply the same approach like you can't actually visit the entire tree or visit all the edges find the minimum and that is with that is your answer you can't apply that this approach because you can't actually go from 1 to 11 at all right so in this case the the answer would be uh, that you can't really go from 1 to 11 so this case might not be there like in the problem but uh, let's take another example so in, in this case the answer is impossible right uh, you can't actually visit from 1 to 11 at all right so let's take another example let's say uh okay let's say this edge is there right and uh, this edge is not there this edge is not there plus you can't connect to two as well so this is your graph okay so if this is your graph you have to visit from 1 to 11 right you can start a bfs or dfs from 1 and see whether you are able to reach 11 or not so this yes or no you can answer right now what like can you let, let's say you figure out that okay i can go from 1 to 11 that I, I that i know okay so if that if you can figure out this can you now say that i can apply the same algorithm with the graph as only this i will forget about whatever remaining things are there so i will like i will just uh, ignore these all uh, nodes at all right and i will just care about all the nodes which are connected with, with 1 and 11 or basically all the nodes are connected with 1 so let's say you figured out that okay uh, this is the graph that uh, is connected with 1 like these are all the nodes that you can visit from 1 so now what you can do you can simply find out the minimum edge among these edges right so previously if you remember we were trying to find out minimum among all the edges because we know that 1 and 11 are always connected and entire graph is also connected but now entire graph is not connected right so what we want to do we want to just find out the same thing in a reduced graph so this is our connected graph and we know that from 1 to 11 we will be visiting 1 to 11 from one of these nodes right so because we can we can only connect to certain nodes we will just consider those nodes 
and find the minimum edges among all these edges and that will be our answer okay so hope this problem statement is clear hope the problem solution is clear we what we are doing we are finding we are just finding out the connected nodes with one right the source and finding out the minimum in this connected uh, in in this uh, subgraph subgraph which contain uh, all the nodes which can which are connected with one in some way and after we do that we just see whether one and 11 are connected or not if they are connected just return the minimum value if they are not connected we can't do anything right so that's the approach let's uh, look at it so what we are doing we we found the graph right this is just simple graph then we have what we have done we have just found out the connected component with one we start with one and we found out the connected component with one and how we found out that very simple just do a dfs or bfs anything would work just found out the find out the connected component with one and with this connected component we are finding out we are keeping track of what is the minimum edge that we have encountered so far so two things we are figuring out the connected component let's say we start with one we do the dfs and we reach all these nodes so what we are doing we are keeping track of what all nodes we are visiting and second we are keeping track of what is the minimum edge that i have visited so these two things will be populated after i call dfs okay now af after that i just check whether n like the destination that i want to visit is there in this uh, connected component uh, list or not if it is there i will return the minimum edge that i have that we have encountered otherwise it is not possible and return minus 1 okay so hope this entire solution makes sense what we are doing like again to reiterate we solved the problem for tree for tree it was very simple because entire thing was connected so we just found out the minimum edge and return the answer for graph as well we saw that the solution is simple the exact same solution would work but for disconnected graph what we have said is i will remove all the disconnected components which are not connected with one because if we are starting from one and going to 11 one of these uh, paths would be exercised only so we will just found out all these all such uh, edges that we might encounter and for all such edges we found out the minimum such edge and return that as answer okay so this dfs is again very simple as as like uh, if it is visited just return if it is not visited visit it and push it to our visited nodes array and then visit all the children and just keep track of what is the minimum edge right so now this hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this particular piece please post them in the comment section below i would be happy to answer now moving forward as promised we will look at the problem where this constraint is not there so currently this constraint is there right where we are saying that it is allowed to contain it is allowed for a path to contain some multiple roots right because of this constraint only what we were able to do let's say this is the uh, minimum or let's uh, just extend this graph a bit let's say they are connected okay let's first clean this part up so let's say this these are connected right this uh, this is the graph now if this is the graph there are various possible paths from 1 to 11 right now if you are if you want to solve the same problem and it is given that the same you can't take the same edge multiple times so then how would you solve it okay one like i would encourage you to pause the video and think about it for a moment and then come back and rewatch it okay so okay so what is the constraint constraint is uh, we want to find the minimum value of the edge okay uh, now let's let's say okay first of all we can't enumerate all the paths because enumerating all the paths would be very tedious uh, you can search uh, online like how to enumerate all the paths between two nodes in a graph very tedious task and the complexity would also be not that great okay so what we want is we want we don't want to enumerate all the paths rather we will want we want a general algorithm that doesn't require enumerating all those paths okay so what are the possible solutions or possible approaches 
so we want the minimum value right so you can fix the minimum you can say that okay i know that this is the minimum you can say this right i know this is the minimum so if this is the minimum you can just assume that 1 and 2 are always there in your set okay if 1 and 2 are always there in your set you can then start traversing or doing a bfs or dfs from this 1 and 2 basically you are saying that this node is always there right and then you are you are keeping this 1 and 2 as your initial set right and then doing a bfs from uh, these nodes right and if you encounter n somewhere it means you can visit some path and go to n by taking this node as well right by taking this node as well and because you are you can do that it means this node mini this node is one possible minimum okay so hope you are following so basically what we are doing is we are saying that this node is the minimum and we are we are we are removing all other nodes which are smaller than this because we are saying that this is the minimum node now because this is the minimum node what i want is i want a connected component which include these two nodes and this edge and all possible other nodes and what i want is somewhere i should have one and somewhere i should have n if these two conditions are satisfied it means i can form a path which includes these two nodes right hope this makes sense you can do this for every possible edge and finally you will get the answer like for every possible edge you will do a dfs or bfs and found out that okay one and n can be connected with this edge and if that's the case you found the answer you will just take the minimum of all such possible cases okay so that's the crux like i don't want to go into much details because uh, there is no way you can uh validate your uh, approach by coding it and submitting it in the online judge if i found some similar problem in future i will definitely post it but uh, the crux is what you are doing is because of the constraint that you can't visit one node more than one times you are fixing what is the minimum node and after fixing that you are removing all other nodes that is greater than or that is smaller than this node like this the value of the distance distance of which is smaller than this particular edge and once you do that you can just do a bfs and found out whether one and n are reachable or not if they are reachable if like we we'll say from this node n is reachable and from this node one is reachable or vice versa then you know there is a path from one to n which includes this particular edge and this edge is included exactly once right so you can just say that okay i know a path which have minimum value as this and you can do this for every edge and you will get the answer so what is the time complexity for every edge let's say the total e number of edges for every edge you are doing bfs so bfs would require order and time so this would be the total number of time complexity in that particular case okay so hope that makes sense if you have any doubts in any of the approaches please post them in the comment section i would be able to answer like the if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you